Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making a Christmas themed soap called I'm Feeling Pine. We're going to start by tearing out our measuring container and then measuring out 11.2 ounces of water. We're then going to mix in 4.8 ounces of sodium hydroxide lye. Stir until it is completely incorporated and then set aside to cool. You want it to be around 80 to 90 degrees, so as you can see we're way above that so we need to let it cool for quite some time. Then you're going to melt your butter and combine with all your oils. Next, I'm going to measure out one teaspoon of our new Green Fairy Mica. And then you're going to mix this with some of your oils. I just measured out, I think it was about six spoonfuls. It's not an exact science, you just want to make sure that it is enough to mix in all your mica. And then I'm going to do the same thing with a teaspoon of titanium dioxide. So once both of our mixtures have cooled down to 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, then I'm going to submerge my stick blender and burp it a few times just to make sure that there's not any air bubbles. And then I'm going to add my lye water solution. Then you're just going to stick blend until you have this nice creamy white color for the entirety of your mixture. Since I'm only using two colors, I'm going to separate the mixture into two halves. To one of these, I'm going to add my titanium dioxide, and to the other, I'm going to add green fairy. Then using a whisk, you're going to stir in your mica, and then add about a half ounce of your fragrance. For this soap, I'm using our Jolly Old Christmas Fragrance Oil, which is in limited stock and is also 50% off right now, so get it while you can. Um, but if you don't want to use this fragrance, then you can use any of our other great Christmas fragrances. Oh, Christmas Tree would work really well for this soap. And then I'm just going to stick blend these until I have a good trace. Notice that I'm always going from the lightest to the darkest color, that way I don't have to clean my utensils in between each color. Pouring these in, I just went back and forth pouring each one on top of the other. If you wanted to have more clear cut lines, you could do each color one at a time, but I kind of wanted it to just look a little mix matched and random. Once you have it all poured in, scrape out your container so you're not wasting any soap, and then tap your mold firmly on the counter to make sure that you get out any air bubbles. Then I'm going to take a spoon and I'm just going to create these little divots on the sides. And then I took some Epsom salt and just sprinkled them on the sides. You can also do this on the middle part instead if you would like. Then I'm taking our new mica puffer with our emerald green mica and I'm just going to spritz the top so it's got a nice sparkle and then I sprayed the top of it with some isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that everything stayed on top nicely and that we don't have any soda ash. You're going to let this cure for 18 to 24 hours and then you can take it out of the mold and cut it. I'm using our small miter box and our straight soap cutter, but we also have a large miter box and a wavy soap cutter if you would like to use those instead. And that is our I'm Feeling Pine Christmas soap that is very easy for beginners and is very moisturizing. If you try this project out on your own, make sure to tag us on Facebook or Instagram so we can see your work. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe so you're notified whenever we post new content. 
As always, the formula that we used is in the description box, as well as links to all of the items on our website, makeyourown.buzz.